Welcome to the Broadcast Dialogue podcast, the show all about the media industry in Canada. This special vendor spotlight is sponsored by Modulation Index and Audio Broadcast Canada. In the quickly evolving digital landscape, understanding streaming audio technology can be a challenge. Greg Oganowski is the president of Modulation Index and the co-developer of Optimod PCN 1600 streaming audio processing software, along with Bob Orban. He joins David and Jane Rush of Audio Broadcast Canada to help cut through the clutter, discussing how broadcasters can provide a higher quality stream. Greg, do you think the internet is competing with radio or is it just an evolution of it? Well, it's really both. What's happening is radio is falling out of favor with the younger up and coming audience. Uh, Mobile devices, the connected car with digital dashboards are definitely taking over. And the same thing is happening with television, uh, with all the cord cutting that's happening. Um, People are getting their media on these mobile devices because they really like the idea of it being available on the go. Now, Greg, if you're a GM and your engineering or IT people come to you and tell you it's time to upgrade your streaming technology... Uh, what would you say to them? The best advice I can give there is using one of the newer segmented streaming protocols, such as HLS or MPEG Dash, and find a provider that will support this. It's very important. One of the big problems with terrestrial radio is that the providers aren't giving terrestrial radio the quality and the features that they need to get their job done. The internet was never designed for these constant streams that many people are are using right now, such as the old Shoutcast and Icecast protocols. And the video providers had to learn this the hard way um, with the false starts that they had with all the buffering and movie stops when you attempt to view. They've all gone to segmented streaming now And that has fixed up everybody. So all your Netflix, Amazon Prime, Apple TV, YouTube, everybody over there is on segmented streaming. And it's really time for terrestrial radio to take note of this. Greg, how has the addition of mobile affected internet audio streaming? Well, mobile has turned into today's portable radio and TV. And... Terrestrial broadcasters really need to embrace this technology if they expect to remain relevant. Um, All the attention to detail and equipment and reliability that they once put into their terrestrial facilities now need to go into their network facilities because networking and streaming has now become vital for their revenue stream. Uh, Greg, what about the pitfalls broadcasters fall into when dealing with streaming radio? Well, that goes back to the providers again. Many of these providers simply don't want to invest in the new protocols and they want to sell what they have to offer. And that's a big problem. Radio and television need to be aware of this. And when they go looking for services, and uh, providers, they're the ones in the driver's seat. They need to tell these providers what they want. They cannot rely on the providers to tell them what they think they want. Um, We've gone through this when we brought HEAAC to streaming. We went through it trying to kill MP3, and we're still going through it now with uh, Uh, trying to move everybody to segmented streaming with HLS versus uh, ICY, Shoutcast, Icecast. Um, There's a lot of resistance only because people don't want to change. But as I mentioned before, your audience is spending thousands of dollars on these devices. They really want them to work. And the technology is available out there on the encoder side. That's where we come in. It's available. They just need to do it. David Rush, along with Jane Rush from Audio Broadcast Canada, with Greg Oganowski, president of Modulation Index. 
Greg was the vice president of new product development at Orban from the very early 2000s all the way to 2016, was the developer of the Optimod PC 1100 series of sound cards. And now you and Bob Orban have co-developed the Optimod PCN 1600 streaming software. Please discuss the advantages of this new product. Well, this sort of sets a whole new pace for scalability. Uh, now, all of a sudden, you're not required to have special PCI cards and computers are getting smaller. It's harder to get systems with multiple PCI slots. So running a software provides a multitude of advantages. Um, number one, the software simply works better. It's newer generation. It's more accurate. It has more features. So there are more processing parameters to dial in your sound. As you grow, you're able to add more and more streams without having to worry about additional hardware. So, you know, it's just a matter of being bigger, better, better with less expense. It's a win-win situation, and that's something that everybody uh, always wants. Now, Greg, you've uh, executed projects throughout the world in streaming audio. You've had a good amount of success, and we're not going to name company names, but uh, good success in Canada with your product line and your work. Why, why do you think that is? Canadian broadcasters are apparently looking to improve the streaming situation, um, and that's a really, really good thing. Um, not only for us, but I mean for them as well, because these segmented streaming uh, protocols, uh, not only are they uh, cheaper to deliver, they're cheaper to deploy and at the same time offer the audience, your audience, uh, a much better product. It's more reliable and we get right back to um, what I've said a couple times already is that uh, the, your audience just wants this stuff to work and the segmenting protocols definitely allow that to happen. What's happening here in the US, I know that there are economic situations and that may be a little bit of impediment on the growth uh, in the US with regard to streaming, but sooner or later, they're gonna need to wake up and do the same thing if they, they expect this to turn out to be the success that uh, Canadian broadcasters are, are are now being able to enjoy. All right, Greg, and tell us a bit about Modulation Index. You've been involved in this for quite a while. Well, Modulation Index was put together many, many years ago to improve AM and FM radio. We've just evolved the company into focusing on high-quality streaming audio at this point. We've been able to deliver uh, software and equipment to truly some of the world's largest content providers. So that's what we're all about. That was Jane and David Rush of Audio Broadcast Canada in conversation with Greg Oganowski of Modulation Index. Learn more at audiobroadcast.ca. That's audiobroadcast.ca. Thanks for listening to Broadcast Dialogue. For more information about the podcast or to receive exclusive access to our weekly briefing about the Canadian media industry, visit us at broadcastdialogue.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, connect with us on LinkedIn, and follow us on Twitter and SoundCloud.